At Anglo American, we are committed to operating safely, sustainably, and responsibly by identifying, assessing, and managing risk. A zero harm environment can be created. New Val Colliery's vision is to achieve zero harm through the effective management of safety throughout the whole operation. This means simply that all employees and contractors should be able to return home fit and well at the end of each shift. Change can be managed. Stay safe. The new Val Colliery primary tip was originally designed with two open receiving bins without stilling hood and a basic internal tip extraction ventilation system consisting of two wet scrubber fans. The coal produced was tipped directly into these 650 ton surge bins from 180 ton rear dumping trucks creating huge volumetric air displacement that generated dust plumes particularly when a dry dusty product was being loaded. This condition was further exaggerated when product affected by spontaneous combustion was loaded. This airborne dust constituted not only a significant occupational hygiene hazard to the primary tip employees but also a safety hazard due to poor visibility and fire hazard affecting the area immediately surrounding the tip and the nearby earth-moving vehicle workshops. Additional dust was generated within the primary tip due to the screening and crushing process. On numerous occasions, the primary tip had to be evacuated due to unacceptable working conditions, resulting in excessive production delays. During 2008, it was decided to upgrade the dust management system with the commissioning of a passive dust hood and the installation of two additional extraction fans drawing dust from the discharge of the apron feeders. Additional high pressure water suppression sprays were added to the now enclosed primary tip receiving bins and additional sprays installed within the primary tip screening and crushing area. Two extraction systems are present. The one uses water to separate the dust from the air. This water is directed to a sewer system. The other system consists of an extraction fan pulling all dust from the primary tip area, filtering and exhausting into the air. The system filters the extracted air. Dust emissions are controlled by these two systems in the primary tip area. These systems work in conjunction with the Benitech dust suppression and dust aside spray system at the tip. This is an operational panel for the dust aside system, which is the suppression system for the dust, as well as the Benitech system is also a dust suppression system. Set it to automatic, so when the pole is actually loading onto the system by the primary tip, then it, it, the spray system actually starts up automatically. In 2011, the real-time dust monitor was installed at the primary tip operator's work area to monitor the effectiveness of the dust management system and to govern employee exposure. Total airborne dust is now also continuously monitored by e-sampler instrument installed in the primary tip area at a point that is representative of the ambient dust load to which workers in the area are exposed. The instrument, the e-sampler, is an off-the-shelf product locally manufactured. The analog output signal from this instrument is sent to the mine's supervisory control and data acquisition system, SCADA. Predetermined action levels have been set for which SCADA commands have been written to ultimately stop product flow through the primary tip automatically when airborne dust levels exceed the preset limit, prompting positive dust management intervention to reduce the dust levels. This is our dust suppression, that is our e-sampler. 
that is from the primary tip, that is where we see if maybe a dust level is going up or even going down. So whenever we, we have it going up, our feeder will stop either A11 or A12, which is A11 for stream 1 A and A12 for stream 2. Certain alarms are generated by the real-time dust monitor e-sampler. These alarms are raised in the central control room when dust levels exceed 2 milligrams per cubic meter for longer than 5 seconds. A red light will simultaneously flash at the e-sampler. When dust levels exceed 2.5 milligrams per cubic meter for longer than 60 seconds, both apron feeders will stop with a notice, dust levels exceeded. All these steps are running on an automatic process. Sources of dust during operations may include soil and overburdened removal, extraction through blasting or excavation, and general material handling operations. Processing of material including crushing and screening are also potential sources of dust as well as transportation of material by conveyors or internal haul roads. Our occupational health milestones are respirable crystalline silica. Uh, the target is by December 2024, 95% of all exposure uh, measurement results will be below the milestone occupational exposure limit for respirable crystalline silica of 0 0.05 mg per cubic meter. These results are individual reading and not average results. Coal dust a respirable particulate, the target by December 2024, 95% of all exposure measurement results will be below milestone exposure limit for all coal dust respirable particulates of 1,5 mg per cubic meter.